What is up, everybody? We're live. It is Thanksgiving. I'm 10 minutes early, um, and I'm usually 15 minutes late. So uh, I know it's not New Year's, but I guess I set a resolution last time I was late, and here we are. So um, I hope everybody is having an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, that's really it. All I wanted to say was happy Thanksgiving, and then also... I wanted to talk about tomorrow's Black Friday sale, the Hangover Gang Black Friday sale. It goes down tomorrow. Uh, I'm dropping all my new merch tomorrow. So there's going to be new hoodies, new t-shirts, new sweatshirts, a tracksuit, sweatpants, a backpack, mugs, beanies. There's like a bunch of new uh, ski masks. A, 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 a. Um, there's also a ton of uh, music video memorabilia, like the vest that I wore and everybody hates me and the shoes from Buttholes and the jacket from Ashes. There's tons of music video memorabilia uh, that's also dropping on Black Friday. Low key, it's already on the website. Uh, I just wasn't announcing it till tomorrow, but if there's like some music video memorabilia that you want, uh, a bunch of it's already sold out. So if you want something that I wore in a music video or a prop from a music video, now would be your chance because it's going fast. www.hangovergang.com So um, I hope everybody's having an amazing Thanksgiving. Mine's super chill. Uh, Nova's cooking up some turkey right now. Neither one of us are very sure how it's going to turn out. So we're hoping for the best. Um, yeah. I hope everybody's having a, a, a wicked uh, little holiday with their families. All I saw on the internet today was people whining and complaining about how bigoted and racist and evil Thanksgiving is. Uh, and it's just like, yo, I get it, okay? I get that the English colonists in the 1600s weren't very nice dudes, but we're not like celebrating the fact that people were dicks a million years ago. We're just taking a moment to hang out with our families and eat some good food. And if you're not me, put your phone down for five minutes. So, uh, so yeah, I hope everybody's enjoying their time. Uh, I hope all the people that are so stuck on how much they hate Thanksgiving because of what it represents, uh, you guys can go fuck yourselves. Um, stop whining for five seconds and just enjoy some time with your mom and enjoy some good food. So, you know, if there's people out there who don't have their families to hang with today, and I'm sure there's uh, many of us, like myself included, my family's all in Canada, so I just hang out with my girlfriend. Um, but I wanted to come out and hang out with the people who maybe, you know, don't have dinner plans tonight, don't have a mom or a dad's place to go to, don't have siblings to sit down with and share a meal. I wanted to come here, hang out with you guys, uh, and whatever. Happy Thanksgiving, man, from me to you. It's like you guys are sitting in the room with me right now. Um, so even if you're alone and you don't have a big turkey dinner, I hope this can uh, help put a smile on your face. Help uh, brighten your Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't really expect many people to be here, uh, being as it is Thanksgiving, but uh, it shows that we're at 1,100 people. So 1,100 happy Thanksgivings to all the wonderful people out there. I love you guys. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll take some questions and stuff. I didn't really have, uh, you know, a big list of things to go through today. Um, there's no you know, promo that I need to do aside from the Black Friday sale. So I'll circle back to that a few times. And besides that, I'll, uh, I'll just take questions. So if you guys have any good questions, anything you want to talk about, uh, anything you want to know, whatever, just drop it in the comments. I will scroll through like I always do and uh, pick the most interesting ones. And we'll talk some shit on Thanksgiving. But you guys should know, don't forget, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. is the Black Friday sale, the Hangover Gang Black Friday sale, all the new merch is dropping, all the autographed albums, autographed t-shirts, all the ski masks are dropping, the new ski masks, all the designs are new. It's all newly designed merch. I spent like the last two and a half weeks designing all the new t-shirts, all the new hoodies, all the new sweatshirts, the sweatpants, the track suits, uh, the mugs, the backpacks, the beanies. I put like more time into this collection than I've ever put into anything in my whole life. I've always been like a huge fan of like uh, clothing and you know, 
clothing designers and different brands and stuff like that. So um, I really put some energy and some time and some work into this. And so did Nova. So um, you guys already know. All the merch is made by us, designed by us, shipped by us, etc. So there'll be three different promo codes that drop tomorrow morning. Um, I think we haven't set it up yet, but I'm going to set it up tonight. So if you meet me here tomorrow at 9 a.m. for the Black Friday sale, I'm going to post the promo codes and blah, 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 blah. And then you guys can go to hangovergang.com and you can grab all the new designs and do your thing. So I'm really excited. Um, it's been a long time since I've been this excited to show people the new merch that I've designed. I'm super stoked. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also a bunch of music video memorabilia, different uh, outfits and stuff I've worn in music videos. That's up on the website right now. You don't have to wait for that. Or you can wait for tomorrow and get the promo code and get it for cheap, whatever you want. It might be sold out by then. Just letting you know. If you go to the website, you go to the store, click on the memorabilia section. It's all the outfits I wore and everybody hates me. Ashes, buttholes, clone wrappers, hell of it, etc. Um, it's the actual stuff that I wore in the video. So I sign it all and then put it in a box and ship it to your house. Hangovergang.com. Fuck all that promo. Let's get into some questions. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, can you guys... You see me? I just had a connection warning or something pop up. So, uh, Matt Scroggin says, what's up, man? Love the vibes. Are you on prescribed meds or do you just self-medicate? Uh, neither. When I had my mental breakdown a few years ago, I went through all the meds, man. They put me on, uh, Seroquel and Ativan and Ciprolex and tons of different, uh, prescription medications. And that lasted probably like a few months. Um, and I hated it and none of it worked. It didn't do anything good for me. It did a lot of bad stuff for me. I actually will say this, the Ativan did really hurt, uh, really help. For the first time after nine months of like acute anxiety, um, the first time that I felt normal in a nine month period was after I took Ativan for the first time. So I will say that it didn't fix the problem, but it, it uh, allowed me to have a healthy enough mind state for a long enough period of time where I could find out what the real problem was and fix that. So, and, and I don't self-medicate. I don't really drink that much anymore. I don't really smoke weed. I'll have like one or two beers uh, on a special occasion and that's pretty much it, so. I'm seeing lots of happy Thanksgivings. There's 1,100 of us here. That's pretty incredible that 1,100 people are hanging out together on the internet on Thanksgiving. Um, and that's exactly why I wanted to do this. I knew there was a lot of people out there who don't have a mom or a dad's house to go to, don't have siblings to hang out with, don't have a turkey to eat tonight. So um, happy Thanksgiving to all of you uh, amazing people. Um, you know, even though you might be alone, even though you don't have a turkey tonight, even though maybe it's not a holiday or a big special occasion uh, and you're just hanging out by yourself, um, I'm sending you love. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope this puts a smile on your face and, and if I can do that, that's a mission accomplished. Uh, Sierra May Jean says, is it okay to put my five-year-old in a ski mask? Yeah. I mean, as long as your five-year-old wants to wear this ski mask, I pro I wouldn't advise like forcing a ski mask onto a young child, but if they're into it, let them rock the ski mask. William Bentley says, what is the one thing in your life that you are thankful for that might surprise us? Um, I don't know. That might surprise you because I've been thinking about it all day. Very, very, very thankful um, for my family, for my mom and my dad and my sister. Uh, the most incredible family that, you know, anybody could ever hope to have. Very, very thankful for my girlfriend, Nova. And her mom is in town uh, visiting, so we get to have a little bit of family here. So very thankful for Nova and her mom. Very, very thankful for my dogs. Um, and of course, lastly, but certainly not least, very, very thankful for every single one of you guys. Um, it says, you know, I always try to find the perfect words to tell you guys how grateful I am for you and to tell you guys how thankful I am for you. Um, and how much I appreciate the love and support. And it's just like the words always fall short. The sentiment always seems to fall flat because the type of gratitude that, that I have for you guys and 
goes beyond the limits of any word that I have in my vocabulary. So, so that's really it. My family, Nova and her family, my dogs, and you guys. That's really it. Those are the four things that I'm most thankful for. One billion percent beyond the shadow of a doubt. Savannah, hi for me. She loves you. Hi, Savannah. Hope you're watching the live stream and having a good time and you're having a happy turkey day. Carrie Geidel says, it's my birthday today. What's the most memorable birthday present you've ever been get given? Well, happy birthday, Carrie. Um, geez, the most memorable birthday present I've ever been getting uh, given. My parents are going to hate me for this one. Uh, because I'm sure they know, they both have ideas right now, what's the best present we ever gave Thomas. Um, you know, it's just so hard to tell. It's so hard to remember, because my parents have been so good to me on my birthdays and Christmas and stuff like that. It just all washes together. And I think the most important things that my parents ever gave me uh, for my birthday wasn't any material object it was uh the memories of the incredible parties they threw me with all my friends and um, how special they made me feel on those days and some of the moments and trips and things we've done together as a family uh mean way more than any ipad or cell phone or whatever it may have been you know what i mean so it's tough well that's a good question Matthew LaPay says, what's that yellow thing on the shelf uh, behind you in the background? That is uh, a backdrop because I shoot a lot of stuff on the backdrop in the house. What a lot of people don't realize when you see like a blue thing behind me in like a video or a yellow thing or a red thing or whatever, like in fake fans or like in everybody hates me, we just shot that here. That's literally how good Nova is. We just set up the lights, pull the backdrop down shoot some stuff of me on the background in a funny outfit or whatever the outfit is for the video and and that's that so uh john alex says also tom when's your next tour gonna be my next tour is going to go down early in 2020 it's currently being booked right now it's a solo tour i will be announcing all the dates cities venues etc like right away um so yeah, it's a bummer that the last tour got canceled. Sometimes that's the way things go, but the new, the, the new tour is coming up right away. So, okay. So let me just circle back one time. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. is the Black Friday sale. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'm also dropping the promo codes for discounts. So meet me here at 9 a.m. I'll give you a bunch of discount codes. Yes, I said a bunch because there's more than one. And then you can take those discount codes, go to www.hangovergang.com and get whatever you want. I'm dropping all new merch tomorrow, all new designs. I spent the last three and a half weeks designing them. New ski masks, new t-shirts, new hoodies. There's jean jackets, three different styles of jean jackets that I made with my own hands. Uh, so yeah, new t-shirts, new jean jackets, new hoodies, new sweatshirts, sweatpants, backpacks, mugs, beanies, uh, a tracksuit, new hats, tons of stuff. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. So hangovergang.com, tomorrow that's all dropping. I've ordered all my merch because I can't wait to have it because it's my favorite stuff I've ever made. And this is the only thing that's arrived so far is the ski masks. So both of these, the Hangover Gang ski mask and the HOG in green will drop tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, like I said, there's autographed albums and everything that's always there plus all the new stuff. Make sure you use the promo codes for the discount. Um, and yeah, there we go. Uh, John Snow says, do you think lying to kids about Santa is cool? Um, yeah, I fully think it's cool. I know there's a lot of people out there that just bitch and complain about like, you shouldn't be lying to your kids about Santa and the Easter Bunny and stuff because it's just, you're filling your kids with lies and then that like makes lying okay with them and blah, 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 blah. That's bullshit, man. I believed in Santa when I was a kid. I believed in the Easter Bunny when I was a kid. I believed in leprechauns and all that other fancy bullshit. And dude, like, do you remember what it was like to be a kid? Things were like literally magic, dude. There was like magic in the air and you believed 
in magic and you believed in the impossible and you believed in like all the outrageous things that society wipes away out of your brain as you get older. And that shit's special, dude. I think about that all the time. Like, I just, that's what I wish was about. Um, just, I wish that I could be a kid again and feel that magic and experience that wonder and, um, you know, act on that delusional belief that the impossible is possible. Like, that's the greatest thing about life. And I think if you don't let kids experience that when they're younger, that's a damn shame, you know? So there's that. I'm just flipping through your comments here. A lot of people saying happy Thanksgiving still. So I just want to say one more time for all the people out there. Uh, and there's a thousand of us right now for all the people out there who, you know, didn't get to go to their parents' house or didn't get to go to their friend's house or didn't get to share the holiday with their loved ones. To all the people out there that are sitting by themselves that are maybe feeling alone that are tuned into this live stream right now. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you. It's not, as you know, it's not about the food. It's not about the gathering with people that you care about all the time. Sometimes it's just about just taking a moment and taking a deep breath and just being and enjoying your own company and hopefully enjoy mine. So uh, to all the people out there, you know, that aren't enjoying a traditional Thanksgiving, but you can still enjoy uh, Thanksgiving without all the trappings and traditions and bullshit. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. I love you. Um, okay, here we go. So uh, Zach eight says, uh, what's up, bro? When are you going to drop some more hits? I'm definitely going to be dropping more music before the end of the year. So I can tell you that much. Uh, Fake fans is about to break a million today which is pretty amazing. It's the fastest growing video that I've ever released. And I said that I would drop another video when fake fans breaks a million. So I'm gonna get through the Black Friday sale, which is taking place tomorrow. And I'm gonna get through a couple other things and then I'm gonna drop a new video. So I might even get two more in before the end of the year. We'll see how it goes. Um, Caitlin says, where do you see yourself with your music in a year? Oh man, you know, that's the toughest question, dude. Like when you go to meetings with record labels or management or PR and stuff like that, they always ask like, what's your short term goals? What's your long term goals? What's your five year plan? What's your 10 year plan? What's your, you know, year plan or two year plan or whatever. And it's just like not how I think anymore. If there's one thing, you know, like three years ago, as you guys heard me talk about a million times, I had that crazy like mental breakdown. Um, and you know, I was almost done at that point in time. I didn't write music for nine months. I wasn't the same person for nine months. I thought my life was over. I thought I was going to have to, you know, check out early. So, uh, I just know how quickly things can be snatched away from you. I know how th quickly things can change. Uh, you know, so I don't make one year plans. I'm just, I know what I'm doing today. I'm live streaming on Thanksgiving today. I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm doing the Hangover Gang Black Friday sale. I don't know what I'm doing after that. Um, I don't like to make plans because when plans change, that sucks. So I like to just like live in the moment and make the critical decisions when it's crucial to do so. And uh, just go with the flow, man. That's, that's really it. Sorry, I can see the connect the connection snapping in and out. It seems like every time I like flip through your comments, the connection gets a little bit crazy. So uh, I'll just try to scroll as little as possible. I'll scroll, give it a second for the next connection to come back, and then answer the question. Uh, Damien Redhot says, "What about the Ciprolex? Because I just stopped taking that about two weeks ago. Uh, I didn't like the Ciprolex. See, the doctor told me that my anxiety was the result of low serotonin levels." which was totally bullshit and not the case. Um, so he put me on Ciprolex to, nat to boost my serotonin levels, but since my serotonin levels were normal, I was getting these crazy like manic rushes from the Ciprolex. Like literally like one time I was so happy, I punched a hole in a wall. Like that, bro. Like all of a sudden I just get jacked up, like so happy I, I punched a hole in the wall. Uh, because he never should have put me on that shit. You know what I mean? He should have never put me on that shit. Um, but he did. 
uh, but thank God that like, I'm pretty tuned in with like my body and stuff. When something's not working out or something's going wrong, I'm like pretty quick to like stay on top of it. I'm like the type of person where if I drink a cup of coffee, I can like tell I drank a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? Like I feel it. Like I can mentally feel it. I can physically feel that I there's caffeine in my body. I'm like super tuned in like that. I think that's probably why the main reason why I never really did drugs. Because I just feel like if I, you know, smoked crack or fucking did a bunch of coke or popped a bunch of E, I'd probably just fucking drive myself crazy or I'd just like die. Because I'm so tuned in to like how my shit works. When things start to change, I'm like, Ugh, I don't like this shit. So, so yeah, there's that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, here we go. See, I scrolled again. The connection got wonky. I stopped scrolling and we're back. So, we'll just have to ride it out. Uh, I'm just going to say hi to my mom and my dad and my sister. If you guys are out there, happy Thanksgiving. My dad's in Nepal right now. Uh, I think he's leaving right away to head home. So I'm sure my mama and my sister are really excited to see him. So he had a great trip, saw Mount Everest, did a bunch of amazing things. So happy Thanksgiving, mom. Happy Thanksgiving, Jenna. Ha happy Thanksgiving, dad. Love you guys. I'm just looking for questions right now, you guys. Okay, I'm scrolling all the way to the bottom, so bear with me here. Dang, you guys, okay. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, Tyler Paul Schwager, tight name, Schwager, says, I Don't Feel Good is one of my favorite songs off Ghost Stories. It really hits home. Is a video for that possible? Um, uh, yeah, the thing about the song, I Don't Feel Good, is I didn't feel good when I made that song, and that's why I wrote that song. Pardon me. It was really, like, authentic to me at that point in time. Uh, but I'm not not feeling good right now. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, so I just feel like it would be sort of disingenuous for me to shoot a music video for that song right now and release it because I'm in a good place. I don't like doing that. You know what I mean? I like keeping my music consistent with like how I am at the moment. So if I'm feeling good, I release feel good stuff. If I want to be funny, I release funny stuff. Uh, if I want to be angry or serious, I release that. I'm just not in a dark place right now. And I just don't feel like putting out dark music like of that type you know what i mean so not saying that like it's never going to come out just it's not going to come out anytime in the immediate future um uh a lot of people saying uh <clears throat> i hope everybody's having an incredible night lance hempfield says what was the most fun show on your last tour um, we did an outdoor show in Florida. I think it was in Newport Ritchie, uh, Newport Ritchie, Florida, the outdoor show. It was like on a big wooden stage outside and there's a big swamp to the right of us. And it was just ram packed with people all outside in this big lot. That was probably the most fun show. <coughs> I think outdoor shows are, are, are super blast. Weather was beautiful. Crowd was singing along all night. It was just, it was like a movie, dude. It was amazing. So that was probably uh, one of my favorite ones. Um, Joshua Thomas said, what do you think about Mad Child the Rapper? Uh, Mad Child the Rapper. That guy's Canadian. Uh, does he even fucking release music anymore? Has he done anything worthwhile since Swollen Members? You know what I mean? Not really on my, not really on my, uh, not on my radar. Um, if you know, if you know Mad Child, you can let him know that Tom McDonald says "fuck you." Nobody from back home likes that guy, and I don't like him either. So fuck him. Uh, Austin Nash says, "What helps you stay positive when you're feeling down?" <laughs> oh man, that's a tough one. Nothing helps you feel positive when you're when you're down. That's the tough part about it. So 
What I've pretty much learned to do is, I've talked about it a few times, I stopped fighting it, you know what I mean? I stopped fighting the depression, I stopped fighting the bad moods. Um, now I just wait and I just surrender to it and I just let myself feel shitty for as long as it takes to get past it. I just hang out with Nova, I, I hang out with my dogs, I'll put something chill on TV um, and I just relax and I just wait it out because if you fight it and fight it and fight it and fight it and fight it, by the time the feeling passes, um, the feeling's gone, but you're fucking exhausted from fighting. So now I just find that like, instead of fighting it, I'll just let it pass. And then when it passes, at least I still have energy to get back on track and go about living my life. Um, so yeah, I'll circle back one time. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. is the beginning of the Hangover Gang Black Friday sale. I got new ski masks new designs. I got all new designs of t-shirts, all new designs of sweatshirts, all new designs of hoodies, new designs on hats, new beanies, mugs, backpacks, sweatpants, track suits. And I have 18 handmade by myself jean jackets that I'm dropping tomorrow, which are like pretty incredible. All the designs were made by myself uh, and Nova helped me out. So we put in a lot of work together over the last three and a half weeks. We're super duper excited about these designs. I think they're the coolest ones we ever made. I think they're the loudest designs we ever made. Um, so those are all dropping tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. If you meet me here on this page tomorrow at 9 a.m., I'll give you guys all the promo codes and then you can go have at her. Um, in addition to all the new designs and new merch, there's also a bunch of music video memorabilia on the site right now. Like uh, the vest from Everybody Hates Me is up there. Um, the some a bunch of stuff from Buttholes is up there. A bunch of stuff from Ashes is up there. Like tons of things that I've worn in music videos are on the website in the memorabilia section right now. The only thing I can really see that's in arm's reach is this right here. The shoes that I wore in buttholes are actually on the website as well. So I wasn't going to drop this stuff till tomorrow, but here we are. Uh, the memorabilia is on the website. So if you want to early crack at something I wore in a music video, the clone rappers tracksuit, the hell of a tracksuit, blah, 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 blah. It's all there. Hangovergang.com. Um, be, I'm trying to be super fast about the Black Friday sale stuff because... It is very important that I talk about Black Friday and, um, you know, make sure that everybody knows that there's a big sale going on and it's all new merch and da 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 da. I'm an independent musician, you know, no manager, no agent, no record label, no PR, no marketing, no publicist, none of that. It's literally just me and Nova. So it's like very important for me to talk about that stuff and make sure everybody knows. But the other flip side of this is it is Thanksgiving today and that was really important to me. I know like I see you guys' messages come in all the time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything. I see you guys' messages come in. I know there's a lot of people out there that are struggling, that are having tough times, that are alone or that feel alone, that may be by themselves today while the rest of the world is saying, hang out with your family. It's a great day to be with your family and your friends and da, 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 da. And I know that that excludes a lot of people and may, maybe uh, amplifies or accentuates the fact that a lot of you guys are alone and that you're by yourself. So I just wanted to hang out, man, and just, you know, say happy Thanksgiving and you're not alone. You're not by yourself. I'm here. The rest of the hangover gang is here. I love you. They love you. We love you. You know, even if you don't have a turkey, even if you're not with your family and friends, it can still be special. Enjoy your own company. Take a deep breath. Relax tonight. Try and smile if you can. Even if you can't smile, even if you're depressed tonight, even if you're not feeling good, close your eyes and think about something from your childhood or think about a moment that just made you smile and try and find that smile. And if you can't do that, force one onto your face. Start forcing smiles onto your face. It tricks your brain, man. If you force smiles onto your face constantly, it becomes like habit. And you can start forcing smiles. And it'll feel fake at, at the beginning, but it'll start to feel easier. And it'll start to feel better. Anyways, it might not work for you. It's worked for me in the past. I'm just trying to help everybody out. Happy motherfucking Thanksgiving to the happy ones and the sad ones and the ones with their friends and the ones alone and whatever. I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. 
Um, <clears throat> here, let's keep rocking and rolling. Uh, Laura Sheldon says, will Nova make any more music videos? I love you guys both. Yeah, Nova's going to drop some more music videos. I've seen them. I got a sneak peek of the Nova Rockefeller music videos. Um, she's got a couple in the tank right now. So, I mean, maybe if you guys like go to Nova's page and bug the shit out of her and pressure her into releasing something, she'll do it. Because I tell her to drop stuff all the time. But Nova has like this fucking weird complex where she does like really amazing shit. And then she just never executes it because she tricks herself into hating it. When I'm like, yo, this is a better song that I've ever written. I've never written a song this good. I've never looked that cool in a video. I've never painted shoes that look that dope. I've never created a necklace that's that, that cool. Like she does incredible shit all the time. And then she just tricks herself into hating it. And then it never comes out. So maybe if you guys go to her page, Nova Rockefeller, and you bug the shit out of her, maybe you can work some weird reverse psychology and psych her into dropping some new stuff because I'd be super excited um, if she got really famous too because I'm getting pretty tired of paying all the bills around here. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. She's probably watching this right now and I'm going to hear about that after. Um... Okay, <laughs> I'll try and get back to some more questions. A lot of people ask about Nova. Johnny Ortiz says, when are you and Nova going to have a baby? Um, dude, don't be out here putting thoughts like that into her head, okay? I'm just starting to get the wheels turning on this machine. I'm just starting to get my feet back underneath me. And really take off here and try and get this music shit working. The last thing I'm trying to think about right now is a baby. Pamela Smith says, how much of the jean jacket's going to be? Ugh, man. Fuck. I can't show you the jean jackets. I already bagged them up and I signed them and bagged them up in preparation to send them out tomorrow. Um, I don't know how much the jean jackets are going to be yet. Literally, as soon as I get off this live stream, I'm going to sit down with Nova and we're going to completely revamp the website, add all the new merch, set the promo codes, blah, 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 and make sure that everything's ready for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we haven't set prices yet. I have no idea. So maybe if I'm in a good mood when I get off the live stream, I'll just, I'll make them really, really cheap. Or maybe I'm going to walk out of this room and find out that one of my dogs shit on the new carpet I just bought. I'm going to be pissed off and the jackets are going to be five grand. I don't know. It's tough to say. Like I said, man, I go with the flow. I'll make plans. I can't plan on how much those jean jackets are going to be 25 minutes from now. I got to just see how I feel in the moment. I got to make the crucial decisions when it's critical to do so. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Deborah Morgan says, will the Friday sale run through to the third? Yeah, I'm just going to let the Black Friday sale just run for a minute. It's not going to be like insane. It's not going to be two weeks long or anything, but I'm going to let it roll for a few days. Until pretty much, you know, either everything sells out or it's just, it's over. I don't know. So I'll let it run for a few days. So yeah. But if you want things in your size, like I said, there's only 18 of the jean jackets. There's only a limited number of the uh, ski masks. Like there's a lot of things that are in limited quantities. So if you want, definitely want to make sure you get your size, your color, etc. Your best bet's to be here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. when I drop the code and stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, Kenneth Boland says, how do you overcome writer's block? Dude, I, th this is the honest truth, okay? I have not had writer's block in, like, fucking five years. Like... I just accept the fact that sometimes there's things that I want to say and sometimes there's just nothing I want to say. And that doesn't mean I have writer's block. It just doesn't mean it just means that I'm not like inspired or overly motivated to share my thoughts on any particular topic at that given time. So I don't, you know, quantifying it to writer's block is creating like a mental barrier. So just like refuse to acknowledge the fact that writer's block is even a thing and just be like, oh, well, I guess I don't have anything to say today. Fuck it. Because trust me, if you really had something to say, you'd say it. 
it'd come out. You'd write it down. It wouldn't be tough. So, you know, that's really it. I guess if you want to boil it down, like, and you want to have something to talk about, then you have to see something that inspires you. So I guess go out into the world and experience some things and see some stuff, turn on the news, talk to people, read shit on the internet, whatever it may be. But don't, don't, uh, you know, quantify it to writer's block. Just be like, I just don't have anything that I give a shit about today. So I'm not going to write music. I'm going to do something else that I want to do. Because if you wanted to write music, you would. <sighs> CJ James. Okay, more questions. CJ James says, what's an Sorry, I was scrolling, so I think our connection got screwed up there for a minute, so I'll repeat that question. CJ James says, what is an average day in your life like? Do you just do whatever you want, or do you have a schedule or a regimen? Dude, CJ, my man. Um, my days are 16, 17, 18 hour days of work. That's literally it. I wake up, um, I'm immediately planning. Okay, nobody releases more music videos than me and Nova. You know what I mean? Nobody releases more music videos. Nobody puts out more music. Not to the quality of which that we're doing what we're doing. So it's just like every day is planning for a music video. Conceptualizing a music video. Editing a music video. Designing merch. Packing merch. Signing albums. Shipping albums. Shipping merch. Going and shooting the actual videos, conceptualizing songs, writing the songs, conceptualizing the album, designing art for the for the albums, designing single art. Um, when you put a song on Spotify, you have to do that 10 days in advance. So 10 days out, I'm planning, okay, the song's coming out this day, so I have to have the video ready, and I have to have the promo material ready, and I have to have everything. You know what I mean? Like, we are the truest sense of independent artists. I write all the songs, Nova shoots all the videos, we edit all the videos, we design the merch, we sign the merch, we package the merch, we ship the merch, we design all the digital art for the for the internet, we distribute our music ourselves, we do all the marketing, we literally do everything. So it's just like what seems like infinite uh streaks of just 20 hour work days. And then, um, you know, when I do have some time to myself, which is fucking rare, like today, this morning, uh, because we were waiting for a camera battery, because today I woke up and said, okay, we got to take, this is a perfect example. We woke up and I was like, okay, Nova, we got to take the pictures of the merch, blah, 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 blah. She goes to get her camera. She's like, shit, I left the camera battery on the fake fan shoot so we don't have a camera battery. So I said, fuck, okay. Call the location where we shot fake fans, see if I can send them a lift and they can send the battery over in a lift. So we called, they got back to us, they sent the battery over in a lift and while that battery was in the lift coming to the house, I had 30 minutes where I could sit down and play a video game. So I sat down and played video games for like half an hour. I played Death Stranding, the main character is Norman Reedus from Walking Dead, incredible game. So I sat down and played video games for 30 minutes. Then my phone buzzed. The battery arrived at the house. I grabbed the battery. We shot all the merch all day. We packed up a bunch of orders, like the music video memorabilia that I said is on the website right now. A bunch of people bought stuff already. So I packed that all up, printed the labels, stuck them on, put them in the boxes, got that ready. Then Nova just released a poetry book because, you know, like I said, Nova is like does all this amazing things that she ends up hating. But somehow... She convinced herself to release a poetry book. She's a very talented poet and writer. So Nova released a poetry book. I helped her bag and label all those, put them in a box so we can ship them tomorrow. And then that got done. And what did I do? Uh, I cleaned up the mess from all the packing and stuff. And then lit Nova was like, can you come sit with me on the couch for 10 minutes? And I was like, I can't. It's 640 and I have to live stream now. And here we are. That's like a pretty regular ass day for me. It's just this cyclical tornado of work. Um, luckily for me, I really love what I do. Um, so I'm not complaining. It's just, it was really busy. It was really fucking busy. So 
that's a typical day. Um, that's it. Uh, Damien Skeen says, how's the falling in reverse guy's wife doing? Uh, if you don't know the last tour that I was supposed to do with, uh, falling in reverse, uh, got canceled because, uh, the, the falling in reverse is lead guitar player, player's wife has cancer. Uh, so send her your well wishes and positive thoughts. And she got put into a hospice one day before we were supposed to leave on tour. Um, so the tour got canceled. Uh, I haven't spoken with Ronnie or anybody from the band since then. Um, because to be, you know, quite honest, um, we don't know each other that well. We were going to meet on tour for the first time and hopefully bro down and get to know each other. And then if that happened, I'd be checking in with them and stuff like that. But um, yeah, with like the tour getting canceled, it opened up a giant window in my life to, uh, that I, as a big block of space that I had to fill with music videos or something else. Cause I wasn't going to be on the road. So pretty much when I got word that that tour was canceled, I went straight to work and just started working my ass off. I'm just scrolling through your comments here. Uh, Chris Chadwick, I love those. Uh, if that cut out, Chris Chadwick said, any spoken words coming out soon? I love those. Yes, I will be doing more spoken words. Um, but I'm doing, I'm working on full songs and full music videos right now. So, uh, you know, I hope you like those too, because that's what's coming out next. Michelle Ford says, who's your favorite wrestler? Man, Michelle, are you new here? You must be new here, Michelle. Everybody knows my favorite wrestler is the one and only Stone Cold Steve Austin. You already know. Um, Johnny Brown says, do you do all your own sound engineering slash mixing and beats? I assume you do. I just wanted to ask. Yeah, I engineer all my sessions, I make all my beats, I produce everything myself. I have a really talented friend back home in Canada who mixes and masters everything for me. It's literally the only process that, uh, that I don't do myself um, and I have no desire to. It's tedious and difficult and um, I don't think my ears particularly good. I have very good ideas that I can execute musically but mixing them and making sure everything sounds perfect and pristine uh, it's not my strong suit, so I just I give it to a friend of mine that's really good at it. Uh, but I do make all the beats and compose all the instrumentation and shit like that. Um, Tanya Lee says, do you ever feel like you will burn out or does working keep you distracted from other bullshit? Uh, I burn out all the time. Um, but I just know that like I can feel it when I'm starting to get burnt out and when I'm starting to not feel good. So, uh, a lot of times it's really hard. You can ask anybody, man. I'm the hardest working person in music, period, period. I've had some huge rappers around here, um, you know, and they are blown away at the work ethic. And like Nova works extremely hard as well. And she's told me like, I never met anybody that worked harder than myself until I met you. So I go like stupid hard. And now Nova even is working just as hard, if not harder than me, because I'm putting her to work. She's working on all her stuff. And I'm also getting her to work on uh, the stuff that I can't do or that's it's too much for me. So um, I think we get burnt out all the time. But, you know, sometimes it's really hard for me to pump the brakes. Other times it's not, you know... When I run myself into the ground, I'll take five minutes to myself and just relax and pull myself together and then get back at it. Sometimes Nova convinces me, yo, just chill out, take a shower, watch a movie, relax. Um, so, so yeah, constantly burning out, but constantly becoming re-energized. Re so that's, uh, that's what we're doing. Um, Jim says, how's your mental health been doing? Does it get worse in the winter? Uh, for the most part, mental health has been good. Uh, it tends to get take a little bit of a dive in the winter. Just yeah. I like the sun and I like the brightness and the uh, sort of the energy and the 
awakeness that that brings. Uh, so when it's rainy and shitty or snowy and shitty or whatever, yeah, it bums me out a little bit. But, you know, I just got to keep reminding myself, yo, it's just the weather. Chill out. Nothing is wrong. I have this mantra that I say when I start to feel shitty. And it is, uh, I'm fine. Everything is fine. And I'm here for a good time. I know that's, <laughs> I know that's lame. I've had like five, six, 700 people at shows repeating that mantra with me. Uh, a couple tours ago, I had a stretch of like two weeks where I just felt like shit every single day, super depressed. And every night I'd get on stage and I'd get the entire room to say it with me. I'm fine. Everything is fine. And I'm here for a good time. So I don't know, maybe go over that in your head if you're not feeling good. It tends to help me a little bit. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I'll just circle back one more time to tomorrow, the Hangover Gang Black Friday sale. If you meet me here tomorrow at 9 a.m., I will drop a bunch of promo codes on you guys. You can take the promo codes and go to www.hangovergang.com and you can go hammer on all the new merchandise. It's a Black Friday sale. It's new t-shirts, new sweatshirts, new hoodies, uh, new sweatpants, new backpacks, new mugs, new beanies, new jean jackets, new ski masks, which I have two samples of right here. All brand new merch, all brand new designs, all for the low, low price of, I'm not sure yet because I haven't set up the sale, but there will be promo codes. Everything will be super cheap and it's all brand new. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, meet me here tomorrow at 9 a.m. and I'll give you guys the promo codes, www.hangovergang.com. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it uh, short and sweet as far as the promo goes, but I am very, very excited for tomorrow for the sale. Um, not just for the sale, but I'm really, really excited to show you guys the designs that we've been working our asses off on. Uh, I think they're the coolest designs that we've ever made. In addition to those designs, the music video memorabilia is already up on the website. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but over there in the corner, there's a mannequin and it's wearing a uh, green vest, a green tactical vest. And that's actually the vest from the Everybody Hates Me video. Uh, so the Everybody Hates Me vest and the pants and the mask are up on the website. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff from buttholes on the website that I wore in the video, a bunch of stuff from ashes, stuff from cloned rappers and hell of it, stuff from trying to kill me, lots of music video memorabilia. Um, like I said, the one thing I have on hand is these Nike fear gods, the green ones. I wore them in two videos. Actually, not only did I wear them in, uh, buttholes, I also wore them in trying to kill me. So these are up on the website. Lots of music video memorabilia is there. It's already there. I wasn't going to tell people until tomorrow morning, but I put it up a day ago and just kept it a secret, but people started buying it. So if you want some music video memorabilia, make a move because it's disappearing, even though I haven't announced it. So there's that. Um, anyways, I'm trying to keep it short on the promo. I just really, you know, that's half of it. But the other half is like I've said a bunch of times, man, uh, it's Thanksgiving. Traditionally, Thanksgiving is to be spent with your family and your mom and your dad or your friends or your loved ones or your siblings. I know that there's a lot of people out there that, you know, aren't with their parents or aren't with their siblings or aren't with their friends. Uh, traditionally, Thanksgiving is about food and gathering. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have a big meal in front of them tonight that are hanging out alone, that are hanging out by themselves. So you know, I just wanted to jump on here and say happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there that feels alone or that they might be by themselves or that might not have a big ass turkey to eat tonight. None of that shit matters, man. All that matters is, is you're here, you're breathing. Even if you don't have a smile on your face, uh, you, you have the opportunity to put a smile on your face. You have the ability to smile. And there's a lot of people out there that are in hospitals and, and, and going through this terrible, terrible shit. Um, so just be grateful for just even just being able to be here and tune in and hang out together. There's a lot of things to be grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for all of you guys. I hope the hangout helped put a little bit of a smile on your face, man. Um, so, you know, I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving in whatever shape or form that takes in your household tonight. Um, I hope you have a good one. Like I said, do your best to smile. Um, 
But yeah, I can't be here all night because, you know, I got to go hang out with Nova. And if I don't hang out with Nova and keep Nova happy, she'll stop shooting my music videos and she'll stop helping me ship all my merch out and she'll pretty much make my life a living hell. So I'm going to go hang out with Nova, enjoy some time together. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing hanging out with you guys. I hope, you know, if this is a kind of a dark day on your calendar, uh, I hope that I can help put a smile on your face. Um, I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to put this thing on, um, uh, before I leave. My buddy Chris Knight keeps texting me saying, Shout me out on your live stream. Shout me out on your live stream. Chris Knight is a guy that I used to wrestle with when I was a pro wrestler. So I'll just say that. Shout out to Chris Knight. It was an absolute pleasure kicking your ass for all those years. And I still got a couple matches left in me. So don't make me lace up these boots and kick your damn teeth in one last time. Uh, I hope everybody has an amazing Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is the Hangover Gang Black Friday sale. Meet me here at 9 a.m. I'll meet you guys here with the promo code and you guys can run away with it and go to the website and get all the new gear. Do whatever you want with it. Don't have to use it, but you probably should. That's what promo codes are for. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody out there. I love you guys so much. I hope that helped put a smile on your face. I will see you in the morning. It's the H-O-G, the infamous hangover gang forever and a day, 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 day. I love you. Have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.